Hi there, everybody. It's Michael Garber from Transformotion. You might have seen some videos from me or from some from my partner, Ron Amit, or maybe some videos of us together. I wanted to answer some questions um, just to share a little bit more about my experience with quantum healing and um, just to share the journey. I think you'll like this. So the first question that I want to start with is, what was the most unexpected thing that happened to me during a quantum healing session? So the most unexpected thing that ever happened to me during a quantum healing session started off with a serendipitous meeting um, with a young woman at a metaphysical shop in West Virginia. So I went into this new metaphysical shop that was in my hometown area. I was super excited that they had something like this. And I walked in and right away this, I saw this, um, this woman there that just had this bright, bright energy to her. We started talking a little bit and I shared a little bit about the volunteers and it really shifted something in her. And she was like, I need to have that session. I need to have that work done on me. So when we finally met up, I was having a weird day and it was kind of late and um, I was kind of considering not doing the session. And she was like, well, you know, not to pressure you or anything, but if, if you're feeling like it, I, I think I'd really uh, benefit from this work. So it was around 11 o'clock at night, and I decided, sure, let's do it. So we went into the interview, um, you know, did the work there, and then um, started going into the trance work. And I noticed as soon as we started to go into the induction, something really shifted in the way that she was speaking. So this was my first client that would go totally under, would have no recollection of the, of the work. And, um, but I didn't know this at the time. I just felt something shift a little bit in the, in the energy in the room and in her, in her language and how she was speaking. So we ended up going through this really beautiful um, regression section and um, it was very powerful. It was very emotionally charged and she was really there. She was really this being. And um, this was very new to me, very new experience. I was kind of sitting on the edge of my chair the whole time. So once we get to the work with the subconscious, I'm speaking to this very powerful wealth of information that is sharing lots of information with me. We get towards the end of the session and I say, you know, why did you bring her to me? Why are we having this session? And she kind of turns her head to me and says, to change your mind. And I was like taken aback because all of a sudden the focus is on me. And I said, well, why does my mind need to be changed? And immediately she said, you doubt yourself. Um, you doubt very much. And basically what was said to me was that I needed to really shift uh, my perception because I was to play a really big part in this awakening process. And I needed to look within myself and shift the doubt that I was having. Now, leading up into this point, I wasn't really believing a lot of what was happening in my client sessions. I mean, I was getting some really great information. It seemed to be very powerful for my clients, but the level of doubt within me, not only about the information, but truly about myself, was very high. And from this moment on, um, I started to get more information, like the client all of a sudden started to tell me about my lifetime and why things had happened a certain way. And this woman really didn't know me. And um, so they started to share about my life, why things had to go a certain way and what it meant and how important it was for me to strengthen my faith and to grow into a more expanded version of myself. There's so much more to share about that story, but I left that session. <laughs> not Okay, so then they said, your idea is correct. And hmm, I don't know if I'll tell you the whole thing, but so I had this recollection about a lifetime. Um, I have always felt very connected to the lifetime of Elijah. And through the session, they started to share about the lifetime of Elijah. And then with another practitioner, they got a continuation of the story, which was then relayed back to me through this other practitioner. And it was about my and Ron's life, life together as Elijah and Elisha, and about what was happening in that lifetime and what it meant about this lifetime that we're in now. So it's taken me a number of years to really grow into that and really refine it and see what, you know, what from that session was really powerful for me and, and how to utilize it. But what I can say is stay, <laughs> stay in that excited place with your work if you're doing these sessions because you never know what's going to happen. 
And if you're feeling called to have a session, I highly recommend it because the amount of love and the amount of information that can come through in just one session can change a lifetime. And through that changing of that one lifetime, it can change many people's lifetimes. So that's my story for you. <laughs> and I'll say it's the first time I've actually shared this story, so it must be time for me to share it. <laughs> I love you guys so much.